order surrounded by chaos right it's like a tree it's like the 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 evolutionary home of primates the tree with the snakes on the ground that's that's our landscape or it's the fire for tribal people and the terrors of the forest that are beyond the that are beyond the the light that the fire casts it's explored territory versus unexplored territory and that's that's an archetype as well that that's, you can't not be in a situation where that's the case even if you're among friends you know you think that's explored territory that's not exactly right because what happens if you're among friends is that they carefully reveal new parts of themselves all the time so it's like they're blasting little elements of unexplored territory you territory at you constantly and if they don't then what happens you get bored and you look for new people and we know there's empirical data on that with regards to intimate relationships because there was a nice study done a while back showing that looking at the ratio of, of positive to negative emotional experiences that were most predictive of long-term relationship success and the answer was you now obviously it depends on how you would measure an event and how you would measure positive and negative emotion but that aside the finding was something like if you're in a relationship and you only have five positive interactions to one negative interaction then the relationship will end, it's too negative but if you have more than eleven positive interactions to one negative interaction then it also ends and you think, well that's pretty bloody peculiar, why in the world would that be? don't you want like a hundred to one positive to negative interactions? and the answer to that is, what makes you think that you want a relationship so that you can be happy? or at least happy moment to moment, why do you think that? it's, not, it's certainly not the case, it's, you know that too because you, I, I, mean, I bet you there's not a person in this room who hasn't rejected someone because they were too nice to them something like that, person's no challenge, it's something like that you want someone who, you know, you can get along with them but now and then they bite you and you think, oh, that's, that's interesting you know, I didn't really expect that and then you go and puzzle over it for a while and you torture yourself about it and, that's one of the things that keeps you really linked into the relationship and the reason for that is that part of the reason that you want the relationship isn't so that you're happy right now it's so that you can live a high quality life across multiple decades and so you're looking for someone that you have to contend with who's going to push you beyond what you already are and who's going to judge you harshly often for your limitations now that'll make you angry and all of that you know, and, and resentful and maybe you'll take your revenge and, and, and all of that but you don't want someone who thinks you're perfect in your current form partly because why would you want to go out with someone that deluded